And so I wound up graduating with a really strong base in 12th century Germanic manuscripts. And I left having that, but then when I entered into the workforce, I really felt that there was kind of this void with my knowledge of contemporary art. And I worked as an assistant curator in Los Angeles. And there's just kind of a language that I was always, I guess, kind of far from that I would have, that is best suited um, from an academic setting or taught in an academic setting. And after working for a few years um, and coming into contact with a photographer who always was talking about Walter Benjamin and uh, photography theory, I decided that I did want to approach a program that had a strong basis in theory. And so when I looked online for programs, I knew that I wanted to study abroad. Um, I came across UCC's um, History of Art website, and I found the photography theory module taught by Dr. Sabina Kreeval, and everything I read in it just really spoke to me, and it was completely interesting, and that's exactly what I wanted. And so I applied, and I guess the rest is history. Um, I wanted to finish my master's in a year, as opposed to the two-year program that is most common in the states and then when you do a little number crunching a lot of um, it becomes more practical to study abroad because in-state tuition winds up being the same as a full year here and so when I looked at the um, professors that were teaching um, the university itself everything seemed that it would be completely comparable to the states and that I would be doing it in half of the time so that's why I chose to come here Um, I would say that I'm always constantly reminded to stop, to pause, to think critically, to be thoughtful, um, to really unpack my ideas and, um, yeah, to unpack my ideas thoroughly, I would say. And then also this program has really pushed a majority of us to really become strong and better communicators. Um, it's opened my mind to a lot of avenues that I never really thought that art would take and especially with the theory course. I feel that I approach art just completely differently, um, especially compared to my BA. And then I would say that um, whenever I approach a paper now, I always ask myself, why is this compelling? Why does this matter? And what's at stake? And I feel that always makes me keep the audience in mind because I never really truly want to write a dull paper. I would say to get to know your classmates, to build a network outside of the classroom because a majority of the time you're left to your own devices, you're really engaging in independent research, class is only four hours a week, so it's really great when you have a network that you could kind of like bounce your ideas off of, um, just people that are kind of in the same situation as you, you're able to calm yourselves, misery loves company occasionally. And it's the idea of just being able to talk to somebody, um, but also taking a break, making sure that you're healthy, just so that you could really approach everything top notch because the material is very dense. It's hard at times, but it's completely worth it.